Okay, so welcome to this video where I will uh, show you quickly to do how uh, to do some uh, light scripting from uh, regions uh, created by a threshold. So uh, you can see the, the link to the previous video uh, that helped us to create those, uh, those regions in the, in the description. Um, let me just have a look here at the workflow. Um, so we can see that uh, we use the pixel classifier to create some annotations. Uh, this is a step that can be automated. Um, and just for the fun of it, uh, let's add uh, a cell detection step uh, to, to go a bit further. So um, let's select, I don't know, uh, the annotations here but let, let, let's start over it's it's a bit better um, to to understand so i will uh, clear up here my, my annotations and i'm just left now with uh, a fluorescence image so i wanted to to select uh, those, uh, those, uh, those those green regions here uh, and to do that i used uh, um, uh, pixel classifier which is actually just a threshold here I will just load this uh, pixel classifier which I saved as a fluo classifier here and from that I created the objects by using the create object command here from the full image press ok and I used uh, some presets here to fill the holes uh, and uh, to um, select only objects larger than a certain size. So I just want to keep the large objects here. I can directly split the objects there, uh, but I will do that uh, maybe uh, in a second part, uh, just to, to get a bit more lines in my, my script. But we could do that at this step here. So obviously here uh, this is way too high uh, let me put it to zero for the moment uh, and what we want to make sure is that the new objects are selected here so create objects for the inner class etc okay press ok and now we have uh, a new annotation here and uh, it's already selected can close this window here. Uh, the next step is to do some cell detection since we have some uh, cells uh, inside this image. So uh, let's just do uh, this quickly. So from this annotation, we go to analyze cell detection and use the cell detection tool here. And we can use uh, the first channel here to uh, detect cells. So Let's run this quickly. I just left the default values, but here I know that uh, this worked uh, pretty well. So I have detected my cells now. And if I go to the workflow tab, you can see several steps, steps from um, pre or starting this video and the main uh, commands is pixel classifier create annotations and cell detection so I can now uh, create a workflow with only those two steps here let's just uh, remove um, all the unnecessary steps here so just for uh, the, the command I shift clicked my list here and right click here to remove selected it items and now I can create a script here where I will just call my pixel classifier uh, which is a threshold and directly after that uh, do a cell detection so I will save this as um, let's call this my script okay and let's go back here um, and 
remove this region okay I don't want to get ugly and let's just call the script to see if it works so you can go either to automate show script editor or normally uh, if you save the script by in the default location it should appear here so we can call it directly from here uh, it launches the script editor and you can just run it and automatically you create your regions and do a cell detection um, if you add to that for instance a multiplex classifier like uh, shown in other videos uh, you can also do directly the classification of your cells so this is pretty quick uh, to do uh, and you can add other steps for for instance uh, anything that is uh, recordable can be uh, used uh, inside uh, the, the, the scripts so for instance we could split the annotation here um, and if we go to workflow split annotations here has been added so this is a command that uh, you could add so if i click on create script here uh, it's actually another way to do it it's just the last line here so I can copy this and paste this here to my uh, my script uh, script save this um, if I go back to annotation select or delete yep. and now if I run this again it creates the region detect the cell and splits uh, the annotations in just one comment so pretty efficient so here you go for this uh, very short tutorial on how to do automation uh, from a threshold. Um, I just forgot to mention that uh, you really have to have uh, the threshold and all the classifiers if you use them uh, inside the, um, uh, the project. Uh, so let me just quickly show you here it looks like on my computer um, I have a project folder here and classifiers uh, that are called are actually stored inside the project here so if you don't have the project uh, classifiers the data uh, the scripts you have here they won't work so this was just quickly just to show you uh, behind the scenes how it works so make sure to always work with projects and then you can add some uh, unlimited amounts of uh, images there uh, provided you have a <laughs> FD enough computer and you can call the scripts on all your images uh, which is uh, very very useful okay so this time uh, see you next time and uh, happy uh, analysis <laughs> bye bye